Hi, I'm Lance Martz. I'm the general manager of Klein Air Horns. Welcome to Klein Air Horns Basics. When installing air horns, you must have a way to keep the compressed air in your tank until you're ready to sound the horns. This can be done with either an electronic or a manual valve. In this video, we'll show you how to connect an electronic valve, also known as an air solenoid. All air solenoids work on the same principle. They hold back the air that's in the tank until an electrical current is applied. The electrical current opens the valve, the air flows through into the horn, and you get the big noise. Klein air horns come with either chrome Klein Vortex 4 solenoid valves or heavy-duty, high-flow, brass Klein Vortex 6 or 7 series valves. Klein Vortex 4 solenoid valves have two wires that are the same color. Pick one of the wires and ground it. It doesn't matter which one, the wires are not polarized. Connect the other wire to a 12-volt power source through a push-button switch. The switch interrupts the power so that the voltage only goes to the solenoid when you press the button. Klein Heavy Duty Vortex 6 and Vortex 7 solenoid valves feature protected electrical connections that are located inside the wiring cover. The cover can be removed with a small Phillips screwdriver. There are three connection points, two of which you'll use, and one that you won't use at all. Like the Vortex 4 solenoid valve, either connection can be grounded. The other connection will be wired to the button that you'll use to honk the horn. One important thing to remember, all air valves are directional. There's a side that the air goes in and a side that the air goes out. If you connect the air to the valve backwards, it's going to leak. On Vortex 4 valves, air goes in the brass compression fitting on the side and out of the 1 quarter NPT male at the end. Vortex 6 and 7 valves have an arrow stamped into the brass body that shows the direction of the airflow. 